Hello again. Thanks for joining me. It is Susan coming from Orlando, Florida, and we're going to end up the quote of the day and move on to something else next week. I think we're going to do like signs next week. You know that song? Sign, sign, everywhere a sign, right? Obviously, I don't sing, but um, I just think we ignore too many things that happen on a daily basis that are pointing us in the right direction. So we're going to start with that next week. But today, to wrap up the quote a day, we, um, there's a favorite quote I have from William James, who is an American philosopher, for those of you that aren't familiar um, with him or his work. And here goes. William James's quote is, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. Human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitude of mind. Now, for those of you that don't know William James, he was born in 1842. This isn't new information that our thoughts become things. This information has been taught for centuries. Um, Seneca, who is I don't even know, a, a great mind philosopher. He was born in 42 BC, right? Before we even started counting forward in years. And his quote that I sometimes use is about luck because people just say people are lucky. And people aren't lucky. Luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. So if you're prepared and you're taking all the steps you have, an opportunity will come and you can act on that. A lot of people say, oh, they're just lucky. No, they're really not just lucky. That information has been around for over 2000 years. And the other teachers and philosophers that we've had, we've had Socrates and Aristotle and Seneca and William James, Emerson, Thoreau, I mean, there's just been countless people trying to educate us, trying to tell us the truth about ourselves and who we are, and that we have everything. We have the power inside of us to become anything we want and to do anything we want to do. We're not limited by our circumstances, our situations, or conditions. Everything we need is inside of us. We are powerful beyond measure. But most of us have never learned that. We've never taken the time to really explore us. We learn all about the world outside of us. We learn about our five senses. Did you know you actually also have six mental faculties? And they are strong, far more powerful than your five senses. But your five senses bombard us every day with information about the environment, information about where we're at. It's continuous and constant. Our six mental faculties, however, are our intellectual capabilities. There are our ability of perception, our will, our imagination, right? Imagination can take you anywhere. You first create something in your mind, in your imagination, and then you can bring it into fruition. Our memory, our sense of reason, and our intuition, our intuitive factor. You know, some say when we pray, we're talking to God, that higher power, that infinite intelligence that's out there, that's in everything, everywhere. However, when we use our intuition, that same force, that I call God, infinite intelligence, life source, whatever, that's when God is talking to us. We have to practice that, we have to hone in, we have to learn that skill in order to be able to act on that in our lives. People say, well, how do you know it's intuition? How, how, you know, how does that work? Well, here's the thing is, when you pick up a phone, I know right now generally there's caller ID so you know who's on the other end of the phone. But let's say you didn't have caller ID and your mom called. 
the minute you heard the voice, you'd know who it is immediately because you recognize it. So intuition, when we start honing in and learning how to use that faculty, that mental faculty, we know the voice. We know the true voice and we know it's not ourselves and, you know, our, our head talk that so many of us have. But the truth is, we are powerful and we have these senses or these mental faculties. And the five senses allow us to enjoy the outside world, right? It allows us to see and to smell and to taste and to touch. The mental faculties allow us to use our intellectual self, which basically separates us from the animals. The animals have five senses, but they can't think. We can do that. So do not sell yourself short ever. Know that just like this acorn, which has everything inside of it that it needs to grow into a majestic oak tree, you inside of you have everything you need to fulfill your purpose, to bring forth the gifts and talents that were given to you and you only. It is your job while you're here to bring those gifts and talents forward. But you see, in order to do that, we need a little help along the way generally because or else we fall back into our culture and our comfort zone and we just do it the way everybody else has done it. We need the right environment. We need to continue to learn and to grow and to learn ourselves, right? Not learn and grow about everything around us, which so much of school does, but learn about us, learn about who we are and the power that is inside of us. That's where you find success. That's where you find abundance. That's where you find that passion for your true purpose, right? You wake up excited. You know that you can make a difference and you enjoy life. So just like this little guy that needs to be in the right environment to grow, you need to be in the right environment. So today, Take a look at yourself, where you're at. What do you need to succeed? You see this little guy, he's never gonna make it because I've taken him out of an environment and he sits on my desk. But you, you have the ability to change anything that you don't want in your life. You can change trajectory at any time. Acorn cannot. So today, decide that today is day one. And I'm going to decide today where I want my future to go. I want to be on the trajectory that I need to be at to make my life from here on out extraordinary. That's all I have. It's been super fun doing quotes but I just want to switch to something else. So next week, catch me for signs. Bye-bye for now.